city of Plymouth continues to focus on the future, but that doesn't mean the city has forgotten about its past. Some grade school students found that out today as Eric Nelson reports. This is a 1925 Maytag washing machine. In Plymouth, there is no such thing as washing away history. This is the Farmer's Home Hotel, which was on the corner of what's now 55, right by the park and ride. It's all about preservation of the past at the Plymouth Historical Society. Mission Farms was developed out here in Plymouth to be a home for those people who were what we would today call homeless. The city has an impressive pedigree. And a group of kids from Oakwood Elementary School saw that up close on Tuesday. We bring the kids out here to show them what the big woods look like. Plymouth was originally all either woods, swamps, creeks, or lakes. In the grassroots days of Plymouth, this is how big County Road 6 used to be. Pioneers literally had to pave their way to a new life as they forged ahead through rugged terrain before finally settling in the city. The Parker family came out to Parker's Lake. Daniel Parker had to walk in front of the wagon throw branches out of the way, chop little trees out of the way to get his family out here on what's now County Road 6. Plymouth is 160 years old. They have all eight grades in one room. And a trip to the Historical Society is like traveling into a time tunnel. One of the top draws is a 1925 Ford Model T. This uh, truck has been in the family since 1925. Uh, my great-grandfather, Henry, used this truck to bring produce down to the farmer's market. The truck is still in tip-top shape and is a glimpse into yesterday. The grade school kids saw some cool artifacts and even sat in an old schoolhouse. This is to the days of prior to electricity. It's unlikely they had ever seen a record player before. This was a unique history lesson for the kids, and they learned plenty. Knowing where they came from or how the hardships were from when uh, our forefathers developed this land. In Plymouth, I'm Eric Nelson, CCX News. Plymouth became a city in 1858, the same year Minnesota became a state. Production on a documentary on the history of Plymouth is underway, and it should be ready to view sometime next year.